I had a chance to meet Kobe in 2007, and I remember vividly at the end of this workout going up to him and saying, Kobe, I don't get it, man. You're, you're the best player in the world. Why are you doing such basic drills? And I'll never forget it. He gave me a really friendly smile and a wink, but he said in a really serious tone, why do you think I'm the best player in the world? Because I never get bored with the basics. It's the, it's the chopping of wood, it's the taking out the water. We call it do the boring work, um, which is repeating successful actions over and over again. If it worked once, it'll work again. And more times than not, people do something, it works, and they think, oh, I should change it. Yes. When simple scales, fancy fails. Ever since that day, that has been my core philosophy for performance, is never getting bored with the basics and working on mastery of the fundamentals during the unseen hours. I think in business and life, there's just a fatigue of the mundane, of doing the things that actually work, and we move away from them. And sometimes the greatest people in the world just don't allow themselves to suffer from the fatigue of the repetition. I think we can readily acknowledge that the basics, if you allow them to, can be monotonous, can be mundane, and can get boring unless you have that type of approach to them. And even if you don't love doing the basics, you need to love what the basics produce for you, which is basically creating that foundation to which the rest of the house is built. And guys like Kobe, um, they never leave them. And that's, that's the key. And the, the beautiful part is it's not saying that you don't also graduate to do more advanced techniques and so forth. It says you never leave the basics. The idea is how can we take something like with scale comes complexity. We do not need to add complexity to a system. If you take 100 phone calls a day and you turn it into 10,000 phone calls a day, there is inherent complexity that gets added because you have more communication lines for different people, you have systems that have to organize it, et cetera, et cetera. And so we don't need to go do more fancy things. If we simply do the volume, the complexity will come. And so we don't need to add the additional variable of complexity to scale. It happens on its own. And so simplicity, so thinking through the razor of simplicity creates a forcing function of you re remove all other things besides volume to the equation. You have to do the stuff that makes the money. Yep. They're the Absolutely. fundamental things. The footwork in basketball. It's the communication or presenting skills in business. It's the vision stretching capacity of a leader. It's the the generosity and kindness and gentleness that requires from a parent that we have to do over and over again and show that love, right? It's it's the repetition we get bored of. The first step for anyone trying to improve performance in any area of their life, first of all, is to admit that the basics work. But then second, it's having the humility to acknowledge that doing the basics every day is not easy. But what you have to do is get crystal clear on what are the basic fundamental building blocks of whatever it is you're trying to improve. You have to get crystal clear on what those basics are, and then you have to commit towards working towards them relentlessly during the unseen hours to work towards mastery.